It was the early, early, early days of windsurfing and I wanted to windsurf as well. And my parents wouldn't buy me one. I was 14 or something, I think, at the time. So I did lawn mowing rounds and got the money for it. And I actually, I built the windsurfer myself from, from scratch in the back, back room. It was polystyrene, so there's bubbles everywhere in the back. We've had the 1300 PNG in our lineup for near on three years now. And it, it's a great wing. Uh, it's worked really well. That's probably the easiest wing for somebody to, to learn to downwind on. Hi guys, this is the first video in a series of videos where I will look at different brands. I will look at the material they have and especially if there is any news about products coming out in 2023. Products to be released or some products that just might be on the market already. I will try to present the material and its use and my thoughts and impressions. We take a first look at the New Zealand brand Axis. Adrian Roper is the man behind the brand. His story is like the beginning of many brands. Passion began when he made his own windsurfing boards back in the historic days of windsurfing. He learned to shape boards later in Hawaii in the 80s. Back in New Zealand again, he continued to shape boards. He had learned a lot about board design and he had some, made some good boards before especially sold in the US. So with the help and support of people over there, the Axis brand was born. Axis started making kite boards and then kite foils and subfoils. In the early days, they designed a 19 mm aluminum mast as we know today, and they still produce it. They also made foil wings by trial and error and got better and better. The passion was there and the willingness to learn was there and to improve as well. Back to today. The Axis brand has had success last year with high performance speed series, APS, and pumping light, PNG front wings. The PNG 1150 is iconic as an easy and reliable front wing. Now this should be on every new rider's shortlist of wings to use for learning to wing foil. It is that good. You can also use it for general riding, downwinds, Though a bit slow, it has recently been very popular for dog start as it has low stall speed and pumps very easy. It is an excellent wing to start with. When we are talking about the pump and glide series PNG, they introduced the PNG 1300 a few years ago and just by hearing the name you s it sounds like oh, that's a big and slow foil, a lot bigger and slower than the 1150, but it's actually the opposite. It is thinner and faster. It is wider but it turns slower, but it glides longer. The 1300 has an aspect ratio of 9.94. This is mind-blowing for such a large fork. So, after an hour and a half in uh, quite soft winds, 9, 10, maybe 11 there for a bit. Some people were riding. I was the only one riding now in the end. Uh, yeah, the, the PNG 1300 delivers really well, even though and others can't even have a chance to get up. I can pump a six meter value and get up. My own experience I saw that the 1300 is more fun to ride than the 1150 as it's faster, glides and pumps really, really well. Great for downwind and also subfoil and dock start. In 2022, they released the PNG 1310. By the name, it sounds like a very similar to the 1300, but it is not. They aim to be one of the very best foils you can have for pumping. Great for subfoil and also dock start. It has a bigger volume and a lot of lift and it's therefore not as fast as the 1300. The 1300 is better suited for wing foil than the 1310. Look at the review I did about the PNG 1300 after you've seen this video and let me know in the comments about your experience or questions you have about the access foils. I will put links in the comments of all the videos I mentioned here. Axis have had a great genuine success with their high aspect HA front wings. With the, sec with the series high performance speed series HPS, they have the sizes 650, 700, 830, 930, 980 and 1050. I have extensive experience with the 1050 and it is a front wing at 1500 square centimeter with an aspect ratio of 755. 
The Axis Foil 1050 is to an innocent bystander, just a smaller version of the 1150, right? Wrong. Nothing could be more wrong. Even I, who owns both these foils, didn't understand the huge difference between these foils. Not until I had tried the 1050 properly and in comparison to the 1150. The Axis HPS 1050 just blew me away. I could have not been more wrong about how this foil would perform. If we compare the shape of the two, we see some differences, but not overly big. It is really great first wing to get into the world of Axis Falls. It's a little faster, but very stable and with good glide. If you come from a beginner foil, this one will impress you a lot. It is a fantastic wing. Look at my, see my video when I tested it. Link, as I said, in the description. Are you new to my channel? Then I wish you welcome. And to all of you that follows me already, hey guys, it's nice to see you again. Now, if this video gives you value, click on that like button. And remember, I do these videos for you guys. So if you want to support the channel and see more videos from me, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified when new videos are being released. You, that way you get to see the latest videos first. And to see more, go to my channel wingfoil underscore Mallorca. There are over 60 videos available there. Enjoy. Okay, a few years back, Axis introduced a more advanced set of foil front wings, the Axis Research Team series of wings, the Art series. They came, come in the sizes 1099, 999, 899, 799, and new from last year, the 699. These foils are taking foiling to the next level in performance. The art foils add a lot to your riding. They are fast, they have high aspect ratio. We are talking about high numbers here, between 9 to 10.6, and they are wide, so they are also stable. The number you see on the foil is the width of the foil. The 1099 is 1100 millimeters wide, and so on. These foils have really affected the wing foil market. You can go down in foil size and get a lot of more speed, but still have a very good glide and stability. These foils make magic. James Casey, the awesome James Casey, did his world record ride of 213 kilometers in 11 hours with the Axis R 1099. It's quite amazing that he could use only one foil for that longer ride in, as we know, clearly changing conditions. Try one. I'd say there is no going back after you try the Art series. They will simply blow you away. They also have a series of wing foils called Broad Spectrum Carb, BSC. Easy to ride wings, the smaller great for quick turning and speed, great for surf foil and subfoil. The bigger models are easier to ride and are also great for entry level riders. Last out, they have a dedicated series especially for surf and tow foiling called Surf Performance. Turns on a dime really fast and keeps you on the wave. Can also be great for kite and subfoiling. They have an extensive range of front wings, to say the least. But there are more wings to talk about in the range of Axis, the very important rear wings. Axis has a huge lineup of rear wings. You can easily find a model that works for you, your conditions and the type of riding you want to do. It is a bit of a trial and error to find your way to the very best one. The smaller they get, the faster they are, but also the less stable. The bigger ones provide more stability, out of the sheer size and they are more angled down to add lift to the front wing so you will come up and stay up easier on foil. However, this is also slowing the foil down a little, but that's usually nothing you need to worry about when you are learning to ride. The smaller rear wings, I would say from 375 and smaller are what you want to have if you want to go faster and they are perfect with the HPS and the Art Series front wings. So after an hour's ride with this new foil, the 375, I can say it goes well in high speed. 
it goes really well in high speed it likes high speed and it's stable and the lift goes up a lot when it goes faster with the alula and also when i'm pushing with the vayu it's been good wind today probably 15 16 knots so it's been pushing on pretty well and the 375 is less stable than the 420 obviously but still stable enough and after an hour i've gotten more used to it and it feels good and it turns a lot and it catches the waves uh, rides the waves very very nice the 325p is a very good rear wing to pair with the r1099 899 and the 1050 in my experience they are great for advanced riders you can go even smaller for more advanced riding fuselages and masts are important as well they, may, they make the fuselages of aluminium and they come in four different lengths. Shorter for more maneuverability and longer for stability. They have two parallel lines, black and red. They made the red ones for bigger foils that need more stiffness in the fuselage and the black series is for the smaller and faster foils. There are also two versions of the fuselage series. I developed an advanced fuselage a few years back that moves the mast 40 mm closer to the front wing to increase turning ability. Many riders praise these advanced fuselages, used in, used in any type of riding, but might be most welcome in surf and soft foiling where you need quick turning. But if we are wing foiling out riding waves, then we could also benefit from these fuselages. Man, so many choices. In late 2022, Axis presented a new version of the series Red Fuselage. The new model is called Advanced Red Fuselage. The benefit of this new fuselage is that the front wing is 40 mm closer to the mast for increased maneuverability, like the black Advanced Fuselage. With the bigger wings in the PNG category, I'd say here are the Advanced Fuselages at a higher value for wing foiling, because they make the bigger foils easier to turn. This is excellent stuff. Axis has also a range of foil boards. The wing foil board version is called Froth, a boxy construction with an EPS core covered with wood and finished with a layer of carbon. The boards are heavy, especially in and out of the water or if you have to carry it for a longer distance. But in my experience, the weight makes the board very steady in the sea. Yes, there will be more swing weight, but I have found the froth to be a very good combination riding with the axis force. Then we have the board for pumping, the axis tray, a thin dedicated board for wake and dock start. Really popular and works just great. Just recently, Axis has launched a new line of boards. We have seen them on Instagram, written by the twin Tahiti brothers and others. Small canoe-shaped boards for subfoiling and downwind riding. These new boards have become very popular last year. In my previous video, I talked a little bit about the Sonova Downwind Aviator Pro, as they were early out designing downwind uh, subfoil boards uh, in collaboration with the outstanding James Casey. The new boards are narrow and long, all made to have less drag and get you up on foil a lot easier when you paddle. Now us normal riders can get up subfoiling a lot easier. They look very interesting. The Sanova Aviator boards are unfortunately very expensive. Okay, now I want to share a few thoughts with you of what I think about new products for 2023. Here is what I have heard regarding rumors and my thoughts about new material from Axis. It is not like around Apple where people spend a lot of time, energy to gather news about new products uh, from the tech giant. In the wing foil world, rumors are not that frequent. We see sneak previews on Instagram or if some riders are out testing unbranded equipment. That's about it. Regarding access, I have not really heard any rumors yet, but so far we know that the new SUP downwind hybrid foil board will be available in 2023. We've got some of our uh, prone downwind boards there as well. Um, that's a, a 61 by 20, sorry, 63 by 21 and a half. Um, and this is a little one that we've got for the Tahitian kids. This one's um, 55 by uh, 18, 19. Very, very small board, 68 litres, but they seem to be able to paddle that up in the, in the flat. Now, what else? Hmm. My first prediction is a new foil, the Art 1199 for light wind days. The success of the Art foils is very clear. I think they can expand it into a foil for slow wind riding by introducing a bigger foil. 
Now when they have the stiffer carbon mast, it would work great with a larger arc foil for fast riding in low wind. My second prediction is a new lighter froth foil board with a much longer fin box to open up abilities for wind, sup, surf options with one board. My third prediction is a bigger and more subfoil oriented front wing for easier start in subfoiling and dock start. As these disciplines are tough to get started in, the PNG 1310 and even the 1300 is today's best bet for learning subfoiling or dock start in easy conditions. Clearly, when you have a decent level, you have many foils to choose from. But to start, you need a foil that helps you a lot. And here is where I think a new bigger foil comes into play. <laughs> okay, guys. Those are three predictions I have for 2023. So, Adrian, if you see this video, this is what I'd like to see from you guys. And I think many more riders would like this as well. I think it is good for you to know what we want. So you can give us the right product, right? Aren't you with me guys on this one? Let Adrian know down in the comments what it is you want to see that you are interested in getting. At the end of the year, we will find out if I was right or if the Axis has something completely different up their sleeve. Well, there you have it. My thoughts and impressions of the Axis brand. We have looked at the Axis product line, spiced up with a few predictions or wishes of mine. The future looks bright for Axis and they have had outstanding success last year. Let's hope they keep innovating and produce more great products for us wing foilers. Thank you for watching. I'm Fredrik Ekemark and you are watching Wingfoil underscore Mallorca. Remember to like, share and subscribe to my videos if you haven't already. I appreciate your support and I will, yes, I will see you in the next video. Stay safe.